Today, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Canva organizing tips. Whenever I come into Canva, I feel a little overwhelmed by this top part, everything you see here. So what I do first is I go to my projects. And here I can see everything that I've been working on. If you have it set in the list view, I like to change it to grid view because then I can see what's going on more. And as you scroll down here, you're going to see your folders. You're going to see the designs that you've worked on. And now I want to help you get this all organized. So to get this all organized, I want to show you step by step whenever I create a design, what I do first. So we'll create a design. I'm going to come here. I'm going to, let's say I'm making an Instagram story. And what I do first is I name it. And then I hit this little plus sign to the side and I make sure I'm sharing it with my team. If you don't have a team, you don't need to worry about this part, but I want to make sure that they can either edit it or comment on it or can view. So right here, I'm just going to save it to can edit. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to a folder. So I'm going to come over here to file. I'm going to say save to folder. And if I don't have a folder made for this, I'm going to come right here and say create new and name it uh, Dina Instagram stories, whatever you think the best way for you to organize this would be. And then say add to folder. So now I can see right here that that's added to the folder that I want it to be in. I'm just going to add a few designs here so I can show you how I like to look at my designs. So when I scroll like this, I can see the three designs that I have here. But if I want to see all of them at once, I can come down here, click on that, and then I can see all three together. I can drag and drop and put them in a different order. I like to keep the one that I've used most recently to the first. So then when I see the little preview in my Canva, it's easy for me to spot the design that I'm looking for. You can also delete from here. You can duplicate from here. So I could delete this page. I could duplicate this page. And then I can download from here as well. So here I can see all of my projects. And if it doesn't have a tag right here, it means it is not put in a folder. So let's say you wanted to put some of these in a folder. So I'm going to click on that and then come down here to this folder. And then I can go add that to the folder it's meant to be in. And you can do multiple at the same time. Now I can see where that is. So you could spend some time going through here, making sure that all of your files are in a folder. And if you didn't have the folder created right down here, you can say create new and you can add it to that folder. Another great way to stay organized in Canva is by using your brand kit. If you set up your brand kit, you can add photos that you use. You can add your logos that you use. You can have different color palettes. You can have all of your fonts in one place. Here's photos that I use of myself. Here's icons that I use. So having this all in one place makes it so much easier to create designs and just stay organized. Let me show you how I use my brand kit. So let's open this Instagram story back up. And if I wanted to change the color of this and use my brand kit, I'm just going to click on the font and then I'm going to click right here to the text color. And then I'm going to come here and find my brand kit. So there's the brand kit I want to use. And now I have my color palette right here. So if I click on that, then that changed to the red color that I use. 
click on this background. Again, here I have all of my color palette and I can do a change all to change all the colors. And then can, I can come in here and change my fonts. I'm gonna scroll down to, these are my brand, kit fonts. And now I can come and add my logo just by clicking on that too. Something else I like to do to stay organized in Canva is by starring templates and elements that I see that I like so that I can easily find them later on when I'm creating a new design. So right here, I'm going to click on design and I have all of my recently used and here are a bunch of other results that are Instagram story size. And if I see something that I like, if I hover over the three dots in the corner, I click on that and then I can hit star. So maybe I'm not ready to design this right now, but I am coming across it. I want to stay organized. I want to be able to find it easily. Just go to the three dots, hit star. Now, same with elements. If there's elements that you use a lot, you can come here, you can star it. So once you're ready to create a design, now that you've starred those items, they're gonna be so much easier to find. What you'll do is you'll go into projects with your canvas open here, and you're gonna to go to projects, and then you're gonna see your starred folder right here. And everything that you have starred is sitting in this folder waiting for you to use. So now I am ready to do this. I can click on that. I can delete that back picture. I can add a color in the background with my brand kit. I can add elements that I want. Now all of my starred images and starred templates are just waiting in that folder for me to use them. It makes it so much easier to stay organized and to spend less time searching for that right photo, that right element, that right template, when you have it all there in your starred folder. All I have to do is add my logo and my colors from my brand kit and I'm ready to go. So use these tips to stay organized in your Canva and you'll find it so much more fun when it's time for you to design for your business. All right, we'll see you next time.